Hi, this is Ken from CB World. We do a lot of tech support stuff on the website and a lot of that is checking for continuity. So in this video I'm going to show you a couple ways to check for continuity. This comes up when you like have a high SWR and you want to check say your cable and make sure there's no breaks in it or even make sure it's not shorted. Uh, sometimes you want to check and make sure you don't have continuity. Um, this video is just going to cover a couple of the tools you can use to check for continuity or a closed circuit or a good circuit. First we're going to go over a multimeter. This device right here in front of us is a multimeter. It's a very common electronic diagnostic tool. It does a lot of things. The one we're interested in of course is checking continuity. So it's a very basic device. It has two probes for touching either end of the section you want to check for continuity or the circuit you want to check. It's got a meter which normally sits uh, all the way to the left whenever you have a closed circuit you can see it'll jump all the way over to the right. Now if you have one of these meters and you touch these together and it does not go all the way to the right before you decide it's a bad meter check the battery and make sure these leads are plugged in well. When you're checking continuity you want to set this dial on the section that has that little emblem right there and what that is is ohms and it's checking resistance or the ability of electricity to pass through a route. An easy way to find where you should set it on that dial is just to touch these together and turn this until the meter jumps to the right like that and you know you're in the right place. So let me show you what happens when you test a circuit and it's good it's going to do the same thing as when you touch these probes together it's just going to jump to the right like that right there and then when you have an incomplete circuit see here we have a break obviously in these wires so there is no no continuity and the meter doesn't move at all. A couple things to remember if your meter doesn't move make sure the batteries are good uh, touch the probes together. If you check a circuit and it does nothing touch the probes together then to make sure that the meter is working good. And that's basically all there is to the multimeter. Another device you can use to check continuity or to check a circuit is a test light. This is similar to a multimeter, only it's made specifically to check circuits. And what it does is when the circuit is closed, you can see that light comes on and it makes a beeping noise. Um, with these, there's nothing to set. You don't set the meter, you know, set it to a specific section on a dial or anything like the multimeter. You just typically hook it up to a battery and go. There's lots of different test meters out there. The basic idea is you hook them up to power, like this one has leads here that I hooked to a 9 volt battery, and then whenever you touch the probes to either end of a circuit, it will either make this noise and light up or it won't. Now this one would be a little tricky on an actual CB installation because the leads are so short you can get them with longer leads or even just lengthen these leads. So just like the multimeter I'll show you here when you touch the other end of a circuit that's good lights up and makes that noise. And when you have a circuit that's bad nothing. And again, when you test a circuit and it's not giving you that signal, just touch the probes to get together again to make sure that it's working well. And that's how you test for continuity. Now this comes up a lot in CB troubleshooting when you get a high SWR or you're not transmitting or you're transmitting but having weak power, that sort of thing. There's a troubleshooting guide on the site that'll list the different problems that can come up where you will need to check for continuity or check and make sure there is no continuity. 
Hopefully that will give you some idea of how to use these tools when you're troubleshooting. As always, you can give us a call or shoot us an email if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.